guys, so I'm here today to film an empties video. I film empties videos every two months. I find that's why I usually have enough products that I can film an empties video. I filmed my last one at the end of December and here we are at the end of January. It feels like it's July. <laughs> But um, I had all my empties in a really cute Sephora box and then my husband stole it to ship a package to his sister. And so now it's in this ugly kitchen bag that is just not gonna look cute in the thumbnail. Thank you, husband, for that. Um, so yeah, I love empties videos. I like to, you know, they make me feel good because then I can be like, wow, look at all the things I've used up. And they also are a good way to see kind of what people actually use up and what they were repurchased. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I have in here is Arctic Fox. This is the color Sunset Orange. As you can see, my hair is very faded now. But um, I finished this up. I hate the packaging because you really do have to cut it open in order to get all of the product out. Um, smells beautiful, but I do not support Arctic Fox anymore, so I will not repurchase this. I will definitely dye my hair orange again, but I will not support Arctic Fox. I will link a video down below. I did... Um, Basically, it came out that Kristen Leanne had used racist and homophobic slurs, and so I'm not supporting Arctic Fox. Also, she's not actually the owner of Arctic Fox, which is wild to me. So yeah, will not repurchase again. Also finished up, actually, I didn't finish this up. This is a bottle of Batiste, but the, as you can see, the sprayer broke, and it's just like shooting freezing cold white air at me, so this has to go. This is like the club pack size that I got from Costco. You can get like two for $20, which is a pretty good deal because there's more product in it than a regular one. However, if the other one breaks too, it might not be a good deal because this broke on me. But like Batiste is my holy grail dry shampoo. I finished up my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I usually buy this in the two packs. Um, usually get them on Sephora for a deal. Um, I do like the setting spray. It's really great. You guys all know Urban Decay Setting Spray. I kind of think they all don't, like all setting sprays don't do anything. This one isn't as glowy as some of the other ones out there in the world, like the Fenty or the uh, Cover FX, but if you just want a good setting spray, this is bomb. Um, other skincare items, I have the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner with Rose Fruit Extracts. This is my Holy Grail toner. If you've been here before, I finish, I use probably three or four of these a year. It's absolutely amazing. It's so expensive, but I do really love it. If you know of any dupes, let a girl know because it's pricey. Um, another favorite is the, oh, actually this is the Ordinary Alpha Arbutin 2% Plus HA. <laughs> I bought this by accident when I meant to buy the Hyaluronic Acid. So I did use this and I did like it. I don't know what Alpha Arbutin is supposed to do, but it did have H hyaluronic acid in it anyways. So I ended up using it up, but I usually buy the hyaluronic acid plus B5. And that's what I have, that's what I'm using now. I finally finished up this uh, Davines Natural Tech Nourishing Hair Building Pack, Reconstructing Mask for Dry Damaged Hair. I've had this for years I think ever since my hair got fried off and then she is now fully grown out um it smells fantastic Davinez is pricey I believe this mask was like $50 but I will say it 100% worked if your hair is dead Davinez did help to bring my hair back to life it's pricey but worth it I somehow have two sunscreens in here the first one is the uh Hawaiian Tropics Silk Hydration Weightless Face Sunscreen SPF 30 this is trash don't buy this I was just like in a pinch needed sunscreen um, and I bought this from the grocery store. I really don't like it. I just feel like Hawaiian Tropics probably isn't the best sunscreen for your face. So I ended up placing an order off of Yes Style. This is the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF 50 Plus. So this is from Yes Style, which usually carries more like Korean style beauty. So I picked this up there and I will say the only downfall of this for me or pro con for this for me is that it smells heavily of alcohol. I can't read the ingredient list, obviously. It is that like, if you've ever tried the Tatcha water cream, it's very much like that. It's a very watery formula. It feels super moisturizing. If you have dark skin, it's probably great for you because it doesn't leave a white cast. And I probably would repurchase it. I don't love the alcohol smell, especially for my dry ass skin, but I did really like it other than that. And I do think that Korean Beauty has some of the best SPFs. Um, also finished up a bottle of Max Fix Plus. I absolutely love this. 
I would say I don't consider this a setting spray and that it will make your makeup last longer. It's more of a finishing spray and that when if you feel like your skin is powdery, this will melt everything together and make your foundation and your powder look beautiful. I have normal to dry skin and my cat just stole a bottle cap from me or a cap from me and it's running around in circles. Um, I have dry skin, but I still like to powder my foundation so that they stay, stay longer. So I like this because it will take away that powderiness and still make my skin look fresh and dewy without having to not powder. It's magical. You all know the Mac Fix Plus hype. Um, a couple other skincare products I have here. This is the Embryolis Late Cream Concentrate. This is my holy grail moisturizer for the mornings in the winter time. I have... My cat just unplugged the ring light. I have normal to dry skin, but in the winter my skin gets very dry. Right now I have a dry patch on my nose, on my eyelid, and right here on the side of my mouth. I don't know why. Um, and I love this for the morning, for the winter. It's so moisturizing. If you have dry skin, I highly, highly recommend this. You can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada now. It's about $35, a little bit steep, but a little goes a long way. This usually lasts me like a, like all of the winter season and then a little bit of the next winter season. I have repurchased this and I absolutely love it. Also finished up a Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Press Rosehip Seed Oil, another holy grail of mine. I absolutely love this. You're gonna take the whole thing down. What are you doing? Did you bring... She just brought me my bottle. Her... This is what she's playing with. She just brought it back. My cat plays fetch. Go get it. <laughs> um, I absolutely love this. I use this every single night as the last of my skincare routine just to seal in all of my serums, my moisturizers and stuff. It's fantastic. Absolutely love it. Um, I'm cheap and I love this is like $9 and is amazing. So we stand. Um, I also finished up, I am the queen of cutting things in half. This is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. I have raved about this a million times on my channel. I absolutely love this. It's the best moisturizing mask in the entire world. Better than the Laneige one. It smells kind of citrusy and always cut everything open to get every last drop out. Once I cut it open, I put it in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't dry out. Fantastic, I finished this up last night. I love to use this after I do a mud mask so that my skin can feel more nourished. And sometimes I just use, a, I just use it like as a nighttime moisturizer when my skin's feeling really dry in the winter months. It's like minus 20 here right now, so like I could die. Um, but absolutely love this. If you have dry skin, you need to try this. They did shrink the packaging, like it's the same price, but it's smaller now, but like not by too much. And I mean, honestly, I'll still buy it. Uh, another thing I cut open, this is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the scent Peach, which I think is probably one of my favorite scents. I absolutely love this. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask for nighttime, but like obviously digging my hands into a pot all day like isn't ideal. I love this for on the go. I don't go anywhere anymore, but I keep this at my desk um, all day so I don't have to like be digging into a pot. I can just like apply it from the tube. It's just so much easier. I do think the Laneige like Lip Sleeping Mask is a little bit um like a deeper moisturization but i still do love this as well highly recommend shiseido facial cotton this is in every single one of my empties videos it's pricey for what it is it's 11 dollars, but you do get 165 facial cottons in here and it's the best facial cotton you'll ever use in your entire life i can't go back also finished up a dr jart water fuse ultimate hydro gel this was a sample and i really did not like it. No, thank you. I used it in the morning. It just like didn't do anything for me. I thought it would be like a like touch of water cream dupe and it was not. Um, I also finished up the Moroccan oil intense hydrating mask. I just have the little sample packet because your girl is cheap. And for, I have so many hair masks. Literally I have curly hair as you can see, and I'm trying to embrace my curly hair. Um, but my hair is so thick and dry that for me, I don't normally, like I don't even use conditioner usually, like I have a conditioner, but it lasts me so long because I usually just use a deep conditioning mask every single time I shower. So I do like this one. Um, I realized like now that I'm trying to be a curly girl, I realized that a lot of my products have protein in them. So I've been trying to find stuff without protein in it and trying to find a hydrating hair mask 
that doesn't have fucking protein in it is so hard. If someone could recommend one that's not from Sephora and a million dollars, I would highly recommend this. I don't think this has protein in it, although the second ingredient is alcohol, so it's not like curly girl friendly, but I, I don't care about curly girl friendly, if I'm being honest with you. Although it does have citric acid in it, which I think is a protein. Fuck. Everything is a protein. Um, so this was decent. I honestly like I didn't it didn't blow my mind but also for like a hydrating mask sometimes like you can't like <laughs> when you have dry hair that's naturally dry there's only so much a hair mask can do <laughs> you know so like this was decent I'd probably buy like the sample pack again because I could have got like two or three uses out of this but I probably wouldn't buy the full size you know um, ooh, I have this Biosance Squalian Marine Algae Eye Cream. Let me tell you, this is a really fucking nice eye cream. Um, I think it's unscented. I can't tell if this is just so old because I finished this up like in January for sure. Um, but it's a really nice hydrating eye cream. I'm currently using the Youth to the People Dream eye cream, which I really like. Also, it's very thick, nice for the winter. This one's not as thick, so I might like purchase this for like a summery eye cream, but it is a really nice eye cream, which hurts because it's like $70, I think, for the full price. I don't want to talk about it. We have three mascaras. <laughs> um, okay, I bought all three of these at the same time, which is why they're all empty now. Uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. You know the one. This is the dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara. Absolutely love this. So great. I buy the waterproof one. It's not as good as the regular one, but I have shitty eyelashes. I need waterproof or it won't hold a curl. Um, the Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara. This wand is a little aggressive and I honestly didn't use it enough to know how much I like it. It was kind of thick and clumpy because really I liked these two better. I liked these two together better. So I just kind of let that one dry out in my drawer. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Effect Waterproof Mascara. I love this mascara. This mascara is so underrated. It's like $3.00. And get it at Shoppers Drug Mart if you're in Canada. It's a fantastic mascara. These babies together, honestly, this one by itself, so good. $3. These are the reasons I can't buy high-end mascara. It's just too expensive. I also really want to try the Maybelline Sky High, but I can't find it anywhere in Canada. I hate <laughs> that the drugstore is just like, Canada needs to get things six months later than everybody else. Like, why? So would definitely repurchase these two. This one, eh. It was also waterproof, I didn't mention. I'm a waterproof kind of girl. Um, also finished up my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. This isn't really empty. It's just at that point where like I can't even, like, like if I, it probably still looks very black. But it's at the point where by the time I get to the end of my wing, it's dried out. And no matter how much, like sometimes if you, I don't get to a point where like, no matter how much you shake them, they just still can't give you a nice line. So I have to let someone go. It's a beautiful eyeliner, super waterproof. I'm trying out the House Labs one right now, but I will probably just repurchase it at some point in my life because I absolutely love it. Like I said, um, the tip is very flexible, like more so than normal um, belt tip liners. Like I've, <laughs> because I've gotten so used to this one, the House Lashes one is honestly kind of, or House Beauty one is honestly kind of like too stiff for me. I'm trying to get the hang of new eyeliner. I've only used it twice though, so that's probably the reason why, but super black, super waterproof, absolutely love this. We'll, have your, we'll probably repurchase it again. Finished up the, okay, so I used the Lush Deep Sleep Muslin Bath Bomb. This one, I think I saved the thing. This one, it comes in this little like muslin and there's lavender in there. Still smells lavender-y. Um, really liked that. I actually used up a bunch of bath bombs over the past two months, but my husband got me a bunch for Christmas that didn't have any packaging, so I couldn't include them as empties. And also the store he bought them from closed down. So I've been using tons of bath bombs, but normally I use Lush because it's easiest to get my hands on. That one was nice and like relaxing. So yeah. Sheet masks, it's been dry. Um, we have the Real Nature Shea Butter one, which is nourishing. The Real Nature Moisturizing Avocado one. This is my favorite. Uh, we have the Real Nature Olive Moisturizing one. I used this one last night. I really liked it as well. Actually, the ones I like the most are the moisturizing ones. Maybe that's a sign I should just stop buying the other kind and just buy those. And then this one is Pure Derm Aloe Collagen Mask. 
I think I got this like as a free sample with my Yes Style order and this one was nice. Um, but yeah, we love sheet masks. I'm not like super picky about sheet masks. These were all good. I like all of them. Um, the Real Nature ones are probably my favorite. Like I said, I loved the avocado one and the olive oil one. I have dry skin, so that's... I basically, last night, used a mud mask. Then I wiped it off, did my toner. Then I put on a sheet mask. And then when that was done, I rubbed that in. And then I put on the Origins mask. That's kind of like my skincare routine when the skin is feeling dry. And that is everything that I used up in January and February. It makes me feel good when I use stuff up. Like I feel like, you know, it's okay when I buy stuff because I used stuff up. Does anybody else, anybody else feel like that? I washed my hair this morning and usually my curls look the best on day one, but we're like, we're feeling flat today. I think it's because I used the Brad Mondo Wave Tech um, and then I tried a gel cast with it and I really didn't like it. I don't know. I feel like I get more body without the gel cast. Um, I did do a first impressions and review of the X Mondo Wave Tech uh, foam, which I will link down below because it looks much better the first time I used it than this time. I've been trying new stuff to see like other ways to use it and this way wasn't it. So that's everything I used up. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if any of these products are your favorites or your holy grails or what you've been loving lately because I'm always trying to buy stuff. I've been hardcore eyeing the NYX eyebrow glue and they have an eyebrow pen, I think. I've literally be, been using got to be glue for my eyebrows. Let's see. And here's the thing, even got to be glue can't keep my eyebrows down. Like you can still see them sticking up. Like what are my eyebrows? But like, honestly, they look kind of good. You can't tell me otherwise. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.